Hello, my name is Xingxing Tan. Welcome to Gupta Lab at University of Washington, where we trap ultracold atoms to create ultracold molecules, study strongly interacting fermions, and fundamental quantum physics. As you can see, here is our ultra high vacuum chamber, which has a vacuum pressure of about 10 nanopascal, while the Earth's atmosphere is about 100,000 pascals. Inside our ultra-high vacuum chamber, you can see a floating green atomic cloud consisting of about 100 million ytterbium atoms laser-cooled to about 50 microkelvin captured in our magneto-optical trap or MOT in the middle of our vacuum chamber. These atoms are scattering green photons at a rate of about 1 million times per second, which is why we can see this fluorescence from the cloud here. Now let's take a look at the lasers that make the cooling and trapping possible. Here is our blue laser at a wavelength of 399 nanometers. We use this laser as a source for our ytterbium Siemens lower light and ytterbium imaging light. And here is our green laser at a wavelength of 556 nanometers. We use this laser as a source for the magneto-optical trap for ytterbium. After the laser sources, we use acousto-optical modulators to split the light beams and shift the optical frequencies as needed. The optical frequencies of both lasers are respectively locked or frequency stabilized to the saturated absorption spectroscopy of the ytterbium atoms in two separate vapor cells. Here, we also have a similar setup of lasers for lithium at a wavelength of 670 nanometers. We also have a setup of 3D optical lattice at a wavelength of 1073 nanometers. Now let's see where the atoms come from. Here is our ytterbium oven where solid-state ytterbium is heated inside our vacuum system to over 400 degrees Celsius to create ytterbium vapor. The vapor then enters our Siemens slower, where the blue slower laser along with the magnetic field created by the solenoid-like coil slows the atoms down to a few meters per second. The atoms are then captured by the magneto-optical trap cooled furthermore to tens of microkelvins, and then transferred to an optical dipole trap, or ODT, which is also in the middle of our vacuum chamber. This optical dipole trap is formed by a high-power 1064 nanometer infrared laser, controlled by this laser module here. And then fibered to our vacuum chamber. The optical dipole trap enables further evaporative cooling to about 100 nanokelvins, where the atomic cloud reaches quantum degeneracy. Here we also have a similar setup of an oven and Zeeman slower for lithium atoms. All of our magnetic fields, including those in the Zeeman slower and the magneto optical trap, are generated by running electric current through copper coils. These currents are provided and controlled by these power supply modules on this rack, and we also have this water cooling system to prevent overheating of the copper coils. At the end of an experiment run, we use a CCD camera to capture the absorption images of the ultracold atoms as our data.
During a typical experiment run, we need to control various analog signals and digital signals for our magnetic field, acoustic optical modulators, and so on, at a precision of microseconds or better. This is achieved with our DAC system on this rack here. All these channels are controlled by Cicero software on our central control computer here, and the absorption images acquired are processed and analyzed on our imaging analysis computer here. And here is an example image of Ytterbium Bose-Einstein condensate in our data analysis software Eagle. Using these tools, we study a range of quantum physics. Recently, we have studied novel collisional resonances. We are currently working on an experiment on out-of-equilibrium quantum dynamics in one dimension. Thank you for visiting Gupta Lab at University of Washington. Let us know if you have any further questions or comments. We look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.